Well, we're, we're really pleased that uh, we've had the, the launch of the build, both the academic work that uh, is going to go on in the, in the SEC uh, and also actually the, the, the building and construction of it. It's a very, very innovative building. We're really pleased to be working with GB who actually worked with us on the green to build a really, really sustainable building with new technology, new technique. So that's fantastic. I think the, the sort of activity that will happen in the Enterprise Centre is very much around green technology, around green business. We think there are big opportunities for incubator units, for developing uh, green enterprise. We want our staff and our students to be closely engaged with that. I, th I think from a GB point of view, this just is a natural step from having uh, built the green literally just over the, uh, the road. We did, I think, an exceptional job there, being able to achieve a BRIAM score of outstanding, albeit that we were contracted to excellence. So always going that little bit further makes such a difference and I think that the relationship that's now been built up with the university is a consequence of the attitude of, uh, of our staff and the challenge to, to go that bit further. It, it brings dividends, it brings dividends to, uh, to the built environment that, that we're, uh, we're creating but it also brings opportunity for staff going, uh, going forward. It's a really important development for the university, uh, especially from an academic point of view. Uh, our students have embedded in all their programs now a sustainability so whatever they're doing they need to address those kind of issues so for example when they're doing a project they have to think of supply chains and what resources they're using etc and this will be a great place for them to come and see companies and people that are really working in this and living and breathing sustainability so they see it in the real world and it gives them a real perspective on that. Um, the, vi the, vi the vision for the, for the actual uh, building itself is um, I believe a responsibility of all professionals and it's being able to demonstrate that you can build in a sustainable way with materials that have been around for hundreds of years um, and build them in a way that they can be easily deconstructed and used again. And I think this building is an exemplar of, of that philosophy. And right, I'm Mick Count, I'm the Senior Site Manager for the Sustainability and Enterprise Centre. Uh, we're building this project for Bradford University. Uh, it's a unique project as it's one of a kind in the country. As you can see, we've just commenced in groundworks, which comprises of um, 300 mil thick insulation with a Volclay carpet uh, membrane. Um, nothing too unique with this, albeit that the concrete that's going on top of it has got to have a, a certain percentage of recycled aggregate in it. It's a timber frame building, uh, a glue lamp timber frame building with uh, precast concrete uh, floors topped off in a lightweight um, concrete called light tag. Uh, the, the, the external walls will be a, uh, a material called hempcrete, which is basically the, the, the hemp comes in bales and it's mixed with lime and uh, sprayed into shutters to make the walls. The, these walls will be foot. 400 mils uh, thick.